Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Joy and I am the mom to six and the wife of the missionary pilot and we live in the beautiful country of Uganda. Today I'm going to show you what I eat in a day and a typical dinner meal from us here at our house. Stay tuned. <laughs> So a lot of you have asked, and um, I asked last week, you know, what did you want to know? And a lot of people were asking um, about food and what I eat in a day and, um, you know, what I feed my family at night, particularly my beans and rice recipes. So today I'm taking you along. Um, actually, it was yesterday, but I'm filming this after. So yesterday is day in a life of my food. I will say this. Um, I'm going to make another video of, um, I, since we got Sanyu six months ago, I have been just trying to keep my head above water and I haven't been, um, doing the best practices. I haven't, um, been taking care of myself the way that I normally do. And as a result, I have put on some weight, um, about 10 ish pounds. So this is a typical day of me back on track. So before I was just kind of grabbing whatever was in the fridge or eating half a bagel or just kind of coping. Um, and my sweet friend Jade uh, gave me a pep talk and I am back on track. Today is day four of being back on track. And we're gonna talk more about what being back on track means. Um, it's nothing excessive, it's not a diet, it's not anything, it's just me being healthy and me uh, making good choices about what I put in my body so I feel better um, and have more energy. So here's a day in the life of our food. Enjoy. So this is a very typical day um, in our eating life. And so many of you have asked, so I'm just going to go through and show you what we have um, for today. I am in my pajamas still and my apron so I'll just uh, turn the camera around and show you what is on the menu for breakfast so this is a very kind of typical breakfast for us usually there's um, bananas as well but I just they were going bad so I froze them all um, so just bread that you can make toast with we have homemade peanut butter and homemade almond butter you can put that on or butter I need to put that on a plate still just watermelon protein balls, um, which I usually have some variation of those on on the menu, um, and usually they're just in the fridge so people can grab. And then a smoothie. This one's mine because it doesn't have milk in it. We get our milk from a local guy who, my neighbor actually, and uh, he brings it to the gate three times a week. And then I just um, pasteurize it myself. I would do raw milk if we were in the States. Shh, don't tell, I might get arrested. But um, here it's just not quite safe. Um, I just don't know the practices well enough. So boil the milk. And there's also oh, and there's also yogurt I made last night um, that I'll bring out in a second. So yogurt, protein balls, toast, watermelon, smoothie. The smoothie is bananas, milk, water, homemade peanut butter, Chia seeds, black seeds, a few frozen strawberries, but frozen strawberries are kind of like liquid gold here. <laughs> Two scoops of protein powder. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Bananas. I think that's it. So I just put in a little bit of milk and then fill the rest with water. And then the frozen bananas and frozen strawberries act as ice. So, um, and then since we're on summer, like not everyone's going to get up in the next 10 minutes. So we'll probably put that in the fridge and I'll actually probably leave the yogurt in the fridge too. This is my smoothie. It's the same thing, except, um, <clears throat> I use almond butter in mine and I, what else I'm looking, I put greens in mine. So there's some kale in there and I would use almond milk if I had it, but I just used water with the almond butter because they didn't have any. So, and then banana, berries, chia, flax. I don't use protein powder in mine. And that's it. And then I just, that is breakfast. Um, another variation, I will make a pumpkin oatmeal often and I will make a baked oatmeal often. So instead of this, 
everything else usually remains the same and then I'll usually have like a baked oatmeal or a pumpkin oatmeal or a regular oatmeal. So that is kind of how it is. And I forgot to say we have fresh eggs from the chickens and so people are always welcome to make their own eggs, um, which Sanyu did here. Can you say hi? Show them your pretty makeup. Wow, did you have, mommy made you some eggs? Yeah. So eggs is always an option if they want to make them. I usually don't make them because they like them a little bit differently. So everyone's helping themselves to breakfast. And also in addition to my smoothie, yeah, food. In addition to my smoothie, I will usually have a couple protein balls if I get hungry um, in the next couple hours. So that is breakfast. All right, as part of my morning routine, I take these supplements um, as per suggested or recommended by my naturopath who I saw last year in the States. So this one is probably my favorite one. I mean, I don't love it, but I think it makes a big difference. It's an adrenal. Um, since I live with lupus, this is probably the biggest game changer. Um, Omega-3 fish oil, B12, this one a day for 40 plus, the old ladies, <laughs> um, from New Chapter, and then the now um, C, uh, vitamin C1000. I feel like there's something else. Oh, magnesium, I drink in the evening. It's like called um, Natural Calm, and it's magnesium, and it kind of fizzy, almost like a... Alka-Seltzer Plus or something. So that's my morning. And sometimes I drink it with a little bit of kombucha, but I'm just gonna drink it with my smoothie today. So my lunch for today is quinoa Super Bowl. I'll put the recipe in the description box below. It's just black beans, cabbage, peppers, onion, olive oil, that kind of thing. And I will put the whole recipe. Um, I got it from the website Bar 3 and I will um, link them below. <laughs> and now we have arrived at dinner time and we are gonna put together dinner and I'm gonna um, put it together here with you and I'm gonna turn it around. Oh, you wanna show them your paper? Are you just the cutest thing ever? Uh-oh. So I'm gonna turn this around so I can show you what I'm doing and it's basically my basic Go to beans and rice in the crock pot recipe, and you can zhuzh it up, as my friend Helen says. Hi, Helen. Um, zhuzh it up however you want, and I'm going to show you some different options, and I'm going to give you kind of an actual ingredient list down in the description box that so you can change it up or um, stick to kind of the basics as you want to. Okay? Okay, for the crock pot beans and rice, I just have... These are black beans that I cooked with the pressure cooker and I mixed with salsa. So those are gonna go in to the crock pot. Some olives are gonna go in. Um, you can either use more salsa, more chopped up tomatoes if you want, because they'll be cooking all day, or if you want easy, you can use canned black beans or diced tomatoes. Um, I don't usually have these, but they were on like really big sale here, so I grabbed those. I've got some cilantro, which I'll save to the end, and then this time um, I'm going to put in just some, um, that's just onion and hamburger meat from um, a different day. So then I'll just put it all in the crock pot, fill it all up, and then cover it with some water or chicken stock if I have some chicken stock on hand. I don't right now. Oh, are you sleepy, baby? So I will mix all of these things together and then put it into the crock pot. And then, let me explain to you what we'll do. So I will cook it for on low for all day or on high for like three hours. Or if you don't have time, you can just dump it all into a pot on the stove and boil it. Um, you just have to watch it a little bit better. So, And then we will just heat that into our bowls over rice with, and then we'll have either tortillas on the side or sometimes I'll um, cut these up and make them into chips guacamole, salsa, cheese, which I haven't grated yet. Actually, my boys are going to grate it. And then um, we just kind of heat it up into a, kind of a, a pile in our bowls or on plates. And then, um, yep, that's how we eat it at least once a week. So another option is to put dry rice in to your mixture as you are putting it in the crock pot. My husband likes his rice 
made separately, so that's what we do, but I'm gonna put it down in the description box as either option. So um, I hope that helps you, and I will just take a picture of my food when I'm ready to eat it tonight. So I hope that gave you an idea of what I eat in a day. And in full disclosure, every single afternoon I have a cup, a jelly jar full of Coke Zero. And I guess I know it will kill me. You don't have to tell me in the, in the comments, but this is my little happy drink in the middle of the afternoon. So this is um, part of what I eat or drink in a day.